Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to show you Brain Bud, uh, the latest um, Bud app um, released by Jam OK. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. And also, if you want to participate in the giveaway, please do check in the video description if it is still active and winners have not been announced. And um, follow the instruction in the video description. Okay, so let's kick off a UV free app as you would expect as other uh, bad apps. So let's start first of all creating a MIDI channel like so. And then let's uh, create two audio channel and I will explain why. So on the first uh, uh, audio channel, let's why, why not? Let's search for uh, TerraPro. TerraPro has uh, recently released a very interesting um, pack, which is very nice. And I'm going to show you that as well very briefly, although I will do a specific tutorial. It's called Library Way Shaper. So really, really nice. So in this case, let's choose something like uh, lead and let's choose um, something uh, um, like um, this ni nylon steel. And let's see uh, what it sounds like. And let's connect it to the keyboard. Yeah, that's that will do. Then on the second audio channel, we are going to again select uh, Terra Pro. And uh, in this case, we are going to load another instrument from the same library. And this one will be a bass. And the first one, I think, will do. Just adjust a little bit the... Um, main volume. Okay, perhaps uh, we lower it down a little bit more. Okay. Okay, perfect. Now, let's um, load a number of uh, buds up and uh, let's start with a poly bud. Okay for which I already create uh, uh, other tutorials. And let's also add um, Melody Bud. Again, I already created a tutorial for Melody Bud. And then finally, let's add the new application just release, which is uh, um, Brain Bud. Okay. So when you open Brain uh, Bud, it's uh, quite a nice, simple UI, as you can see. You can you have a selection of a key here, which you can select the key, and also if you want it sharp, flat, etc. Then you can select the scale here, and which is really nice. Of course, you can change the size of the window. Let's maximize it actually, so you can see a little bit better, All right? And then you have a number of keys here. You can randomize the key. Click in here. You can randomize the scale. You can randomize both key and scale, and you can effectively broadcast the key and scale through the other application, the other BUD application, which are connected to Brain BUD, because Brain BUD is used as an app to actually change the key and scale of other um, BUD application which are running. As always, you have the creation of new patterns, and you can change patterns using CC messages. Here you have a, at the, at the moment, only one pattern created, but you can add uh, additional pattern and then you can click and hold on a pattern. You can copy, delete, and then when you copy, of course, one pattern, you can go to the next one, click and hold, and you can do also a paste. You have settings here, which are very straightforward. You can decide which CC um, number you want to use, the MIDI input channel and the MIDI output channel, and then you have also access to a tutorial. Okay, so let's start straight away connected the first Terra Pro instance to Polybud, like so, and also the second instance of Terra Pro to Melody uh, But Also, actually, let's um, lower by an octave and transpose this down so it will sound, I think, better as a bass. So let's start with a Melody Bud and let's click play and let's create um, a bass line. Okay, let's uh, close that down for now and let's try. Okay. 
Okay, and I'm going to leave it as that, just a simple melody. I just wanted you to know that if I go on settings, and again, let's maximize it so you can see a little bit better. You, here is where you see the selection of the scale, which in this case says major, and the key says C. Okay, so let's leave that there for now. And let's reinstate Polybud and actually let's um, uh, disengage at the moment uh, a melody pad so we, we hear only Polybud. Okay, so let's create um, a song. can choose other instruments so let's try another one instead of these nine of steel leave that as it is now we reinstate both of them and we connect uh, um poly bud to brain bud like so so that brain bud is the midi input or the midi source into poly bud and we do the same for a melody bud as well here on the midi input okay now let me uh, hide these um, uh, keyboard for now let's open uh, again brain bud and let's um make the UI a little bit smaller like so, so that we can see it here down on the bottom left corner. Then let's open up Melody Pad and we do the same and we move it somewhere down here. Perhaps we make these a touch more smaller again so we can see a little bit better. And then finally we open Polybud and again we do more or less the same so that we can see up here like so right so at the moment even polybud if you go to the settings you will find that uh, the scale here will be major and the key would be c okay so now let's go back here to uh brain bud okay so we have selected at the moment key g flat okay so let's click budcast and now you will see the notes have changed Right, you can see the notes here. It starts from G flat instead of C, right? And if I was to go on to the scale here, sorry, onto the settings, then you will see also that the key and the scale have changed to match the scales and key which are set in brain part. And the same would have happened here on polybud. Okay, so you can randomize both key and scale. You can randomize only the key, you can randomize only the scale. And then, of course, you can use this button, as I mentioned earlier, to broadcast the changes, right? But you can also go inside and change the key manually, right? And the same on scale, you can change it manually. And it's quite interesting, so let's try to change the scales and the key as we are playing. So now let's select, for example, again, as a key, we select C, neutral there, okay, and then as a scale, we go to a simple major here, okay? And um, what we're going to do, actually, we're going to copy this one, like so, and we're putting it on pattern number one, so click and hold, paste. Then we go to the second pattern here, and we change the scale to minor, and this is just an example. So we have now two patterns right if i go to settings you will see the pattern cc is 10 right the midi output the channel one we leave that as it is right and um, what we're going to do the next is to add another bad application which is pattern bud 
for which, again, I have already created a, another tutorial. So we're going then to connect PatternBud as a MIDI input, the MIDI source into BrainBud. And the reason I'm doing that is because then I can actually, um, oops, uh, have I done it right? No, PatternBud here, like so. So that um, uh, pattern bud can actually change the patterns here inside brain bud. Okay, so let's open this one. Let's delete these, this one as well. And we'll leave this one as they are. So we have four bars and CC messages one, which will select the first pattern. And then another four bars, CC message two, uh, sorry, value two, value one and value two, which will change, of course, the pattern one and two or maybe CC10, okay? So let's minimize these as well. Perhaps um, we make it um, smaller, why smaller, like that, and we click play. <laughs> is that pattern bud is used to actually move from the first pattern inside the brain bud to the second pattern inside the brain dub. The first pattern, of course, has a key of C and a scale of major. The second pattern has the same key C, but as a scale of minor. And therefore, you will see the changes, uh, the corresponding changing um, on poly bud here and melody bud here. Now, let's go here and let's actually... Let's make it these a touch bigger so we can see a little bit better. And um, let's click here and change. Um, uh, actually, here, the uh, let's make it again bigger. So instead of four bars, we do two and we do the same here. So the changes are faster. OK, and let's try um, again. And please pay attention here to the notes, which will change. At the moment, you see some flats here. And as soon as a um, pattern bud moves to the first pattern, it will go to a major scale, and you will see the flats disappearing. <laughs> nice because it you can change um, um, scale and key whenever you like you can make it as part of the right pattern progression inside your song so that is really um, really nice something else as well you could do is let's go back here let's change these two uh, as value one oops like so okay then what we are going to do is uh, we are going to um, going to brain bud here, okay? So we're going to open um, this and we're going to click here. We establish a MIDI source uh, a pattern bud. Okay, then we are going to um, go down here. You can see a uh, two AU parameter exposed so we can go inside the uh, random key. Okay, and then we can activate that on channel one. We can say CC message, and then we can establish which one we actually want to use. So, for example, we could say use 10 again, right? And um, yeah, and, um, and this will randomize the key, right? Then we can do the same on the scale. So we activate it here, go to MIDI CC, and we say these. 10. Okay. And it says, okay, of course, you have a, um, a conflict here, but let's leave that um, for now as it is. Now, let's um, stay on, uh, um, let's delete actually these uh, uh, patterns. So we have only one, we have a C major scale. Let's click play. <laughs> As you can see, 
you have uh, the key and the scale which are being changed through uh, pattern bud, which is, uh, of course, using a U parameters which are exposed, which in this case has the random key and the random scale, uh, scale right? Which is really nice. Okay, I hope you enjoy the tutorial. I think this is a great addition as a brain bud. And remember, you can use all the other in the natural um, way that you have seen in other tutorials in terms of using um, gem all case uh, bud up. So there are a lot of potentials. Um, you can, for example, instantiate another instance of pattern bud who create something different, even down to the point where you can actually change the patinia for polybud or the patinia for melody bud. And then you can insert other buds uh, up from gem K, whether it is core bud, whether it is arp bud, um, shift bud, etc., etc. So you can have a lot of fun with uh, all these uh, gems. Okay, thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.